V, it's the Van de Graaff generator. Um, really, this is totally my choice. Um, and it really stems from early days on, when I first met John, going into his programmes, uh, late 60s, and hearing Van de Graaff generator, and it just reminds me of those days. So I felt that that's what I would choose. It was 67, 68 that I kind of really started going in a band at university with a chap called Chris Smith and we left to follow the path of fame and fortune. It was on a list of Chris, that Chris Judd Smith had. You know, he'd, he'd, he'd arrived wanting to form a band and he had lots and lots of different different names and Van de Graaff Generator was one of them. I was a scientist at, at the time, so I immediately knew what it was and he, he just liked the name, the um, da da da, da 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 da, uh, kind of rhythmic aspect of it and just, just the, the, the strangeness. Uh, and obviously it's, you know, it's a wonderful piece of electrostatic apparatus which shoots out thunderbolts. So, you know, it, it did seem appropriate. Judge and I, as well as being in kind of an electric band, um, not with a great deal of competence, I have to say, but it was kind of an electric band, we also did duo shows, in which I'd play acoustic guitar and he'd play typewriter and crumb horn and percussion and, and so on. And somehow or other, I can't remember this, we'd actually met John in London, somewhere. I suppose it must have been at some, some gig or other or what have you and then and we actually went round to his flat and played I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm correct we went to his flat and played just for this this duo at the time John was writing a weekly column for I think record mirror or something like that because there were lots of music mags at the time and he was given the task of writing the A to Z of psychedelia uh, I believe it was psychedelia or could have been flower power but you know one of these so if you came through a b c d and i believe he came to v and the only v that he could come up with as a result of this meeting was van de graaff generator which of course gave us a degree of cred with the music business Delhi back cats, that's uh, Van de Graaff generator. Peter Hamill uh, wrote it and it's called Scorched Earth and it comes from the forthcoming LP God Bluff, which I for one can't wait to hear, should be good. There was one particular session that we did which was an absolute one-off when it was coming up to Christmas and so we did a particular Christmas medley involving Silent Nights sung in German and uh, a song by, again, Judge Smith, who's obviously still involved this time, called Christmas Can Be Terrible, which was a, you know, about a 10 minute medley that went out one time, one time only. And I've missed out on a lot of the records that have been issued on the VU or Virgin Universal label, but one that I did get was the Van de Graaff Generator, one called I Prophesy Disaster. And this is another record or another track which used to be a great favourite millions of years ago. He kept going with us, actually, because obviously at the, the, the 68, 69 was psychedelia. Then gradually things lurked towards the, the dreaded prog era which obviously we were, we were part of, both in terms of time and, and where, where we were placed. Um, and then 76, 77 came along, and a lot of people, you know, a lot of people were, were castigated for being pompous oafs and, and so on. Uh, but we had kind of escaped reasonably unscathed from that, and in particular, John kept playing my and our music and kept having sessions, so that we kind of were kept going along there. He's all, always championed us.
you know, I and, and Van der Graaff have a, a certain reputation, I suppose, for, um, for being austere and difficult and over-serious and what have you. But uh, in all my, in all my um, communications with John, I think I, you know, in, everybody knows that he didn't big himself up and that he you know, tried to make what the music was about the, the, the important thing um, and, and wasn't up himself at all. And I like to think that, we were, that he recognised something of that same spirit in us, even though we had this rather strange reputation.